no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. This is Beauty Beats, where we show you the secrets to the makeup, hair, and beauty ideas you've been searching for. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Beauty Beats. This episode is titled How to Tie Gele. The gele we shall be using today is called a Sego Gele. Now this gele is pretty much made of paper and it's very simple and easy to use. Now the first and basic rule when tying gele is to make sure you have no frontal hair. So ladies, take your bangs to the back. Once that is done, secure your hair in a bond. Once your hair is secure, you start by folding the tip of the gele just a little bit from one end to the other. Make sure it is flat and tidy. The next step is placing the gele behind your head. Now some people prefer to tie their gele starting from the front. I prefer starting mine from the back. Either or is fine, it's really just a style of preference. You then make sure one end of the gele is longer than the other. Bringing both ends forward, you make sure they interlock, securing one end behind your ear and the other over the secured one, creating neat layers and lines as you go along. Begin scrunching them together and making a knot. Tie both ends at the back. We're not done just yet. Now, gele tying is an art, so it's very important to make sure that your finishing is well detailed. So you start to adjust and adjust and adjust, making sure your layers are neat and then the lines are straight. Once that is done, you adjust to whatever preference you prefer. Some people like the gele spanned out, some people like them small, some people like them big. So you adjust to preference. Once done, you push your gele to the back to expose a little bit of your hairline. And there you have it ladies, how to tie gele. Gele, like I said before, is an act. So practice, practice, and the more you practice, eventually perfection is definitely certain. Bye!